Hello, my name is Sandra from CCAM Laboratories, and today we're going to be talking about the Acrovitro element series, which includes the Element M media reactor, Element Z zeolite reactor, and Element ZA calcium reactor. The Aquavitro Element M is an in sum filter media reactor that allows for the use of virtually any type of filter media. The design of the Element M allows for a consistent, even flow from the bottom of the reactor to the top for the most efficient use of virtually any type of filter media. Using the adjustable internal plate, media can even be separated to allow for various uses within the same reactor. Single media. In this method, a single media or media blend is used throughout the entire reactor. Dual media. In order to run two medias, the column can be bisected by the adjustable internal plate. Fluidized. The Element M's adjustable pump and bypass valve allows you to fine tune the flow in order to fluidize resins such as Aquavitro Pure Filtrum and Secam Purigen to even further improve their ability to remove organics. PHA media such as Aquavitro Biogen are extremely effective when fluidized in order to reduce nitrates and phosphates. The Aquavitro Element Z is a reactor designed to utilize zeolite in a reef system to achieve a low nutrient environment while still providing housing for beneficial bacteria. This method of filtration has been shown to increase coral coloration in many cases by significantly reducing organic waste loads. The Element Z also has a built-in wash feature. We recommend using the reactor's wash feature one to two times a day with the built-in backwash pump. Daily rinsing of the zeolite allows for more efficient filtration by reducing the biofilm that forms while feeding tank inhabitants. The Aquavitro CA calcium reactor provides and maintains virtually constant calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium levels, which is critical to the long-term success of reef aquaria. A calcium reactor functions by using CO2 to react with a calcium carbonate media such as Seachem Reef Reactor. CO2 acidifies the water flowing through the reactor to slowly dissolve the media, which releases calcium, carbonates, and magnesium, among other elements and components of the chosen reactor media. A CO2 tank, preferably along with a pH probe and a CO2 controlling system, is used for the proper functionality of a calcium reactor. Use of a CO2 controlling system is highly recommended to eliminate the risk of overdosing CO2 into the reactor and the aquarium. A CO2 controlling system typically includes a pH probe, which delivers information on pH within the reactor to a control unit, which then turns a solenoid valve on or off as necessary to the CO2 tank. Our pH probe placement allows for rapid response by controllers to avoid overshooting CO2 injection, which in turn saves CO2 and allows for consistent and efficient dosing. You can use your CO2 controlling system to fine tune your calcium levels. The Element CA has a built-in CO2 recycling feature. CO2 is recirculated for complete use of injected CO2 within the chamber, which saves money on CO2 canisters and refills. The effluent tube can be placed in one of three locations to suit your preference. Like the other element reactors, the media chamber is quick to remove for easy cleaning or media top-offs. I'm Sandra from CCAM Laboratories. Thanks for watching, and as always, just add water, we'll do the rest.